All right, the first thing we're gonna do is create a TypeScript config file for this. So we're gonna create a new file, tsconfig.json. And right now I'm just gonna paste in what we need. All right, I'm gonna step through what's a bit different from the blog post. One is the lib field. We're in here, it's specifying the bundled library declaration files that describe the target runtime environment we want for this package. In this case, the latest and greatest is ES2024 and then DOM if you're supporting this package to run in the client or the browser in this case. Uh, target here, this field, is the JavaScript language version for emitted JavaScript and included keep compatibility library declaration. So in this case, we want to target ES2024. Then when it comes to the module field, this is specifying what module code is generated. And so we're going to say node next for that. And then for module resolution, the same thing. And this specifies how TypeScript looks up a file from a given module specifier. After that, most of the stuff is similar other than the file output directory. We're going to have it to just lib and lib types for the declaration directory. And in addition to that, files at the bottom is different where we're just going to point to source index.ts. Again, this differs from the blog post a bit because the blog post has a main TypeScript configuration file like we see here. And then for each module format that we want to support, we extend the base one and add specifics to each one that we're supporting. In this case, the first one we're supporting CommonJS, and then the second one we're supporting ESM. But at the time, the latest and greatest for that was ES2022 we are now ES 2024.